Many of you may be familiar with physicist Erwin Schrodinger's famous quantum thought experiment. In a closed box, you put a cat, along with a vial of poison gas, a sliver of uranium, and a Geiger counter that's fixed to a hammer above the gas vial. As the experiment progresses, there's a chance that the piece of uranium in the box may emit a particle. If this does happen, the Geiger counter will detect it and send a signal to the mechanism that connects the hammer. This will release the hammer, which will swing and strike the vial, thus releasing the poison gas and killing the cat. Alternatively, the uranium may not emit a particle and none of this happens, keeping the cat alive. According to Schrodinger, we don't know this until we open the box and observe the outcome ourselves. Now we might be tempted to say that up until opening the box, the cat is either alive or dead. There are only two possible outcomes. But quantum mechanics makes things a little bit more complicated. Because until we, the observer, open the box, nothing is certain, which means all outcomes are possible. So in the quantum world, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. When we open the box, and only then, do we make either outcome real, including the chain of events that led to that observable outcome. Applying this thought experiment to the universe that we live in can take us down an interesting rabbit hole. According to notable physicist John Wheeler, we live in a participatory universe and constantly contribute to the creation of our physical reality. This is because the universe exists as a superposition. In quantum terms, this means that it exists in multiple states at the same time until it is measured. The paradox of Schrodinger's cat is a prime example of this. So when astronomers take measurements of the universe, any observations made at the time select one out of the many possible quantum histories for the universe. This means that we do not only determine our future, but also our past. Wheeler thought of the universe as consisting of huge clouds of uncertainty, with areas where its past is still yet to be fixed. However, while a conscious observer such as an astronomer, staring into the depths of space with their telescope, helps create the universe, Wheeler also believed that inanimate matter played a role in determining if quantum potentials become real. An example of this is a high energy particle in the Earth's crust that exists in many possible states until it interacts with something, such as minerals in the Earth's crust. In this case, the evidence of this interaction in the minerals makes these particles real. Now while other physicists agree with Wheeler's ideas on the participatory nature of reality, physicist Andre Lind disagrees with Wheeler on one major point as he believes a conscious observer is a crucial element of the universe. According to Lin, you can say that the universe exists only when there is an observer who can say that it exists. Without this observer, or without any observer in the universe, even if there is physical evidence that the universe exists, without anyone to infer this, the existence of a universe may be of little consequence.